All right, welcome everybody to the Briscoe County Jr. Red Dead Outfit tutorial. I'm um, going to be going through a few different modifications on uh, options that he can be wearing. Um, what you see him wearing right now is kind of what I felt was the best. Uh, you know, you'll you'll be able to find your own stuff. I'll be pointing out a few things that I thought also worked. Um, but anyway, here we go. So starting with the hats, uh, there was really only one style that I felt actually worked. Um, there was some other stuff that was kind of similar, but this is the only one I actually thought um, fit the uh, the general look of it from the uh, from the show. So uh, Kerrigan hat. I you know what I'm I'm probably gonna butcher some of these names, so I do apologize. Feel free to correct me. Um, but moving right along, the pattern bandana. Um, you know, there's there's a few different patterns you can go with. Uh, the show seemed to be kind of a a lighter uh, reddish color. Uh, on the pattern itself, so that's kind of what I went with. Um, I have seen other people using not a bandana, but the neckwear, I believe the puff tie. Yeah, like the puff tie red. Um, that's another option. Um, personally, I just felt it was it was too shiny. Didn't really go with the rest of the outfit, so I was sticking with the uh, with the bandana myself. Um, I just, I, I feel it just works with the outfit better, generally speaking, so. Um, but again, personal choice. Coats. Uh, this one, again, I felt there was, there was a couple of options, but this was the one I felt was the best, the leather jacket. Um, simple, cheap, uh, just going with a tan, um, coloring matched nicely with the with the show as well so uh, I thought that one was pretty good uh, then I know there is some episodes where he wore a vest but uh, he generally didn't so I just skipped right over that shirts an everyday shirt um, just that kind of like light blue powder blue whatever way you want to look at it or whatever name you, name you want to give it um, you know, his his sleeves are rolled up here, but it just doesn't really matter once you have the coat on. Um, it's all covered up anyway. Suspenders. Can't forget about the suspenders. Uh, this is the style that I went with. Honestly, like, almost any of the, uh, like, not the rope one, not the fine leather, but really any of the other ones could work. Um... This is the one I went with. It's it's not the cheapest option. It's not the most expensive, but it you know it, it fits the aesthetic. Um, you know, in the show, the little uh, clips on the suspenders were a little bit lower, but that's not really something that we get to choose. So, um, it still works just fine though. Uh, now belts. This is the part that's going to bother some people, I'm sure. Uh, the Frontiersman belt, that was something that was available with like the original Outlaw Pass. It'll pop up every once in a while um, in the catalog now. Uh, so it's not going to be readily available for most people. Uh, I do apologize about that. But I'm adding it just in case somebody does have it in their inventory. Um, it, it, it's a nice little bonus that I think um, really helps make the outfit look uh, a bit more accurate to the show um, so sorry if you guys don't have it but I mean it's not a deal breaker but it I, I definitely think it adds um, a bit of accuracy to it and now I'm not typically one that goes uh, goes all in on you know the weapon equipment making sure that the uh, the sidearm or the offhand in the gun belt really match the character that I'm working on because um, then we start getting into a lot of uh, Red Dead dollars um, and I just don't have that much <laughs> so um, not really so worried about that uh, I do apologize if that actually gets on uh, under anybody's skin but um, you know when when you make your character feel free to go for a little bit more accuracy with that as well 
the tuxedo pants are the pants that I chose. Um, be showing a different kind that also works, but um, again, in the show, the uh, the jacket was a little different color tan than the pants. Um, that works for this as well. But another option that uh, I think works pretty well is the tied pants. Um, to me, those two colors are, are too similar. Um, you know, that's probably just getting with my um, little uh, pedantic nature. But, uh, you know, I mean, in the show, when he has his one of his... Uh, um, gun holsters were kind of tied down by by a string um so that kind of works with this aesthetic um but you know whether whether you want to or not uh, i think the tuxedo pants are actually an, a cheaper option than the tied pants and i do believe that the tied pants are also a limited time thing yeah you can get them right now uh, as i'm making this um it is in january of 2022 but they aren't always going to be available so tuxedo pants will be and I also feel it works better boots uh, the worn uh, roper boots going for that kind of a bit worn tan look uh, just <laughs> there's an overall tan aesthetic to uh, to the character so um, it works nicely has little uh, flared up toes like they were in the show as well so that's nice um, and then finally the spurs uh, the spurs from what I could tell were, were fairly basic fairly simple um, which is nice because that means they're also fairly cheap so uh, I unfortunately don't remember what the price was of all this stuff put together um, but uh, I, I, you know, it isn't it isn't gonna uh, really kill your bank account to put this outfit together. So, um, just thought, generally speaking, uh, pretty accurate, pretty good, and there you go. Hope it helps.